but it's a directional speaker. Right. That we sort of uh, I've just left there. But uh, it works really well because it sort of beams the sound into the bowl. It just it's like it does. It's just really funny that people <coughs> like no, there's a certain way that you can do. But I was basically struggling to find other models that were working how this business model works. Of business, trade, rubbing up against art practice. Mm. So we wanted to just sort of start a bit of a conversation about... Um, how artists felt about living in a really expensive city, how they were supporting themselves, etc. Um, yeah, we found that there wasn't a lot. It was a very hot topic, but like a lot of people didn't find many other businesses that were doing the same as what I was doing here, basically. Yeah. This has a lot of in common with what I was interested in as an artist. Mm. Um, showing art in unusual places, showing art to new audiences. It's got this political element about the funding of, of the arts. Um, so yeah, it sort of satisfies the sort of craving yeah. and urges in me to make art. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah he's creating these things every day, and they do look like art, they're amazing. Yeah, actually. yeah like 60% of our audience don't normally go to galleries. Yeah. Which, yeah. which obviously no gallery can claim that. <laughs> you know, that's <laughs> fucking great. Yeah. And then that's what sort of motivates me, yeah. You can commission the work for here, yeah. and the context is so different. You know, the artists respond really well to it. They love the idea that people are going to be sat in front of their work for an hour. So yeah. sometimes you're just cutting here and sometimes you're making up. Is that what you're saying? I think all the time I'm just working. <laughs>